Welcome to Portrait in a Minute. Today we're at an off-site National Portrait Gallery storage facility. Behind me is a portrait of Elaine de Kooning by Elaine de Kooning. Elaine de Kooning is generally characterized as an abstract expressionist. This work, her self-portrait in the National Portrait Gallery collection, is a figurative work and leans more on de Kooning's early training and her experiments as a social realist. A brief visual analysis of this portrait depicts a handsome woman with shoulder-length hair wearing a large sweater reading a book in this room of artfully created objects, a weaving of some sort, a couple of photos, and some small pieces of sculpture. At her feet are what appear to be a coffee cup and an ashtray. The overall palette for this work is very earthy and the subject's features her hair and the wall behind her in soft browns and tans. There are one or two exceptions, the chief one being the pink table behind her. The medium for this work is oil on masonite and it was created in 1946. Though this is an example of Elaine de Kooning's unevolved style, in only a few years, remember this work is from 1946, she will fully embrace a more abstract portraiture an example of which we see in her large composition of President John F. Kennedy from a series of sittings with him in late 1962 going into 1963. This work shows a much brighter palette and a much broader stroke. However, it captures a sincerity and emotive intensity that is equal to, if not greater than, her previous work. And it is in this more abstract way that de Kooning created her greatest works in portraiture. This has been Portrait in a Minute.